Hello everyone, welcome to the first video in my Adobe Illustrator, also called AI, tutorial series. First off, let me caveat that I am not an expert in AI. I just started using it like two months ago. So this series is really me sharing with you all the things I've learned and sharing my journey and hopefully show how easy it is to learn something new when you just take your time and be patient. So this video is about using the AI line tool. Why am I doing a video on the AI line tool, you ask? Well, that is because that's where I started and that's where you need to start the basics. A lot of the more advanced projects in AI just combine all of the basics with some added tricks to manipulate them. And if you don't know the basics, you're looking crazy like I was. So I stepped back, took my time to just get comfortable with the tools and terminology so everything that came after wasn't so scary. So I won't waste any more of your time. Let's get into the tutorial on using the AI line tool. All right, so we're gonna start with creating a new document. So here I'm gonna click new. I'm gonna call it tutorial line tool. These settings really don't matter at this point, so I won't get into that. I'm just gonna click okay and wait for it to load. Um, this is really zoomed in at 122%, so if you care, you can zoom out, but for these purposes, I do not. So line tool. So here the line tool, also called line segment tool. So you're going to make sure that's clicked. If you click and hold down, it shows you other tools. But for the purpose of this video, I'm only focusing on the line segment tool. So that's what we need to click on. Um, from a basic standpoint, you know, it's pretty much the same way you would draw a line to anything. So you would just click and you would drag. So that's what I'm doing. So what you can find being kind of different with here is when you draw a line, like say you want to draw a line and you know this is not horizontal, like it's not straight. So you could sit here and if you if you can see the percent on the bottom, to six, like six degrees, sorry, not percent, degrees. Um, if I go down, saying five, four, like I could do that until it's zero. And then same thing with this, I could keep doing this until I knew it was 270. You know, but who wants to do that? So if I just click and say, I know, okay, I want a horizontal line. I'm not trying to figure it out. You can hold down shift. So like this is the line. If I hold down shift, this is what it looks like. No shift, shift. And I let go and I know it's perfectly horizontal. Same thing with vertical. Hold it down. I'm not sure if this is whatever. I don't care. I'm just going to click shift. It's going to automatically snap it. So same purpose, but that's how you get your line. So what you can also do is if you click over here on the selection tool, um, if I click on this line, say I want to change the color, you can either come over here to the color panel if you have it up and say I want it to be lime green. And if I click off of it, you can see it's lime green. Or say for this line here, if you go over to this side, you can see stroke and fill. Um, lines don't have fills, they have strokes. So if you double click the stroke, you can change it to another color. So I'm going to change it to hot pink. I don't like pink, but I'm going to change it here. So you can see I changed it to hot pink. It's hot pink. So the two ways to change your color. What you can also do is you can extend your line. So say I clicked on this one and you see a two anchor points. So there's one here and it's going to be an anchor here. Well, if I click on one of those points and just drag to the side, you see it says line extension. As long as it's pink, that means that I'm going in a straight line. If the second it's not pink, I'm not going in a straight line anymore. So you can do that horizontally and you can do the same thing for vertically. So what you can also do is you can rotate. So if you're clicking on the line, not on your anchor point, but if you go a little bit above it, there's a little double arrows. Well, if you click on that, that helps you rotate it. So you kind of know like this is 90 degrees. You know, if you want to make sure it's, um, you know, perfectly in other directions, this is a great tool to use. You know, if you do this and do 180, it's going to be perfectly perpendicular to where it was. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, something else that you can do is alt so this one's a little weird. So basically, if you click on this and say I draw this line and say it's it's at 50, right? If well, 50 that I want, if I hold down Alt, it doubles it. I have no clue why you would want to double a line. I guess if you're being specific on some measurements and you really want it to be double of a certain size, that's what you would use it for. But I don't know. You guys tell me. Um, and lastly, what you're going to do with these lines is the movement. So basically, I have a couple lines here. Let me draw a diagonal line over here. Okay. So basically, when you're moving your line, say this one here, I want to move it above, but I want to keep it where it was. So you can see how it's moving the, pa the pattern kind of parallel, and that's where that little pink line is telling me. 
or that's where the line was and say I want to move it over here where you see that pink that's telling me that I'm staying horizontal to where it was same thing for this one here if I want to move it above it it's showing me the pink line and say you are directly above it or if I want to move it next to it it's saying you're you're staying parallel second I move a little bit it's not pink anymore move back up it's showing parallel um, you saw it kind of snap to that one how that works is if I take this and I kind of go over here it's pink I haven't touched it but it's just telling me that it's perfectly perpendicular and even on both sides and if I keep going it's going to tell me that it's intersecting and that means that it's directly on it so no more worrying about hang time and then if I keep on going eventually it's going to say intersect directly at the middle so you can kind of do that with multiple lines so if I do this and keep going you see how it turned pink in the middle that's telling me that it's directly there um, same thing for this one if I take it and say well I want it to be on the line now you can see here it's just telling me yes you're in the middle right but if I, as I go you see how it actually told me that now I'm perfectly aligned from how far the top line is from the center so and then you can kind of for your diagonal kind of same thing this is telling me that it's matching up with the bottom um, this one's telling me it's matching up with that bottom pink line if I do this, if I move it like down, you see it's kind of pink telling me I matched up with that. Or I can just come in the center and it told me intersect. So just some nice things. I mean, if you're really working on something where things need to be aligned, as you can see as I'm moving it, it's just really kind of telling me, you know, in, re in respect to where my other objects are, um, where that line is. So it's pretty cool. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. If you are a novice like me and found this video helpful in getting started on Adobe Illustrator, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get more Adobe Illustrator tutorials as I continue on my journey. Talk to you in my next video.